Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the next installment of my collection and maybe tiny tiny declutter series. This year I have been going through each category of my um, like makeup collection and I have been testing things out and I've been decluttering that way so I've sort of decluttered year round which has been different to how I usually do it I usually do it at the end of the year as like a fresh start in 20 in like the new year um but I'm still gonna do my collection videos because I feel like there might still be some stuff that I can declutter and you know it it is what it is today like I said colored face products now something I need to be very clear about is that this is not everything at all um I have uh where is it where where are you I have this tub here of blushes and highlights and bronzers that I have already tested out and are ready to be um sort of discussed and mini reviewed in those product testing videos now I'm not putting them back in here because these are all of the products that I have not tested or they are my face palettes, which that video has already gone up. Now, the reason why I'm not putting them back in here is because I don't want to be pulling out shit that I've already tested and made notes about and then realizing after the fact. I have so many fucking things here. Like, you can't keep track of them all. So, I'm not putting these back in. You will see them in a video sometime, I don't know, in the new year. Bronzers you will see in December. Blush you might get to see in January. Highlighters, fingers crossed, it'll be February. It, I might not need even more time to finish that one. I don't know. What I am going to do today is tackle what I do have in these drawers. Um, I'm going to pull out the palettes. Um, like I said, I have just done a video on these. If you want to see it, I'll link it down below. Um, what I haven't done, that's a highlighter. Why is it in this drawer? Probably because it didn't fit in the highlight drawer. Is that essentially? Yeah. Okay, good. Very good. You know what? I'm going to chuck that there. We'll deal with that in a minute. Um, ow, really? <laughs> so nice. Thank you. Um, so in this drawer, I keep blushes and bronzers. Um, and the relevant like face palettes basically so these are all bronze that's not a bronzer I know it's not I don't that is actually yes I was using that as a bronzer I think this one I'm using as no that's that's right that's right is that the highlight one in here did I do a good thing I did all right excellent good we're off to a great start um so let's start with bronzers now Hall of bronzer <laughs> I have quite a few of these. Um, I love this bronzer. I'm going to get rid of this brush because fuck that. I will not. I will not use it. Ugh. I will keep the little slit in there. Um, I love Benefit Hula bronzer. Um, that one's new. This one is used. And then I have two minis which I like to use for travel. I wonder if they're both used. Both? No. That one's new. That one's used. Um, I'm gonna keep them they're fine it's good it's all it's all Gucci it's great uh, same with NARS this is a mini Laguna I love it that's used this one is brand new and I am going to keep them they are oh you won't close will you jerk um, favorite absolute favorite bronzers I you know obviously I have multiple of them um, the benefit ones I usually get in PR, which is great. The minis I've got from, you know, purchasing little packs and stuff over the years. Um, the NARS one I did purchase myself as a backup. <laughs> Silly, I know, but it's fine. She's new and she's sealed. Um, and then the mini, I actually, I think this came in one of their holiday Christmas packs. So there's that. This one here is from hourglass it's actually one of their ambient lighting powders it's dim light um 
I might like to pan this next year as my winter bronzer. I think it's really pretty for that. So I'm going to put that in my panning box. I would like to tackle some face palettes. Now, and by tackle, I more mean organize. Where are they going to fit? They're not going to fit far out. Um, okay. I just want them to be a little bit more tidy and put away. Oh, why do you hate me? They're going to have to go this way, aren't they? Oh! Okay, that, no, 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 that's not, that's not what we're doing. There we go, that's better. Um, this, this is from Jaclyn Hill. I want to pan this next year. I don't think I will, you know what, actually, no, I'm going to pass this on to a friend. I'm going to pass it on to a friend. I, like, I, the blush I just won't use. I do have a friend in mind who this would probably suit. And this super soft light bronzer, I think would be absolutely ideal for her. And my plan is I'm not going to use this blush. I'll just use the bronzer in winter and then I'll get rid of it. But I think I, I have like the perfect person in mind for this. So I'll give it a spritz to sanitize it and then I will give it to her this weekend when I see her. All right, let's get into blushes. This is the By Terry Cellular Rose Blush Glacé. Madeline gave me this. It is a really cool color. Like, look at that. It's weird though, because it's quite a sticky, like, cream formula. Now, I am, ugh, I am working on um, testing out all of my blushes, as you guys know. Uh, so I probably won't get rid of anything unless I'm really not interested. I'm not gonna leave it in that box it out um so i will probably just leave this one like and uh, i, I want to try it so it stays in the drawer preparing for future use this one is can make cream blush in 15 um i have put one of these in my project pan for this year and i really love the formula so i want to test out that color see if i love it this one here is a Chantecaille blush. It is in the shade Bliss, which is the butterfly. Again, holding on to that. NARS, I have Impassioned, purple, like mauve ish blush. Gorgeous. We'll try it out. We'll get it in that video. Um, this one is from. Uh, sleek it is the rose gold blush I think this is probably going to be too pigmented for me oh maybe not I don't know why do I remember this being super pigmented or am I thinking of another one that I didn't buy I'm not sure anyway whatever I'm gonna test it out in the future um this one is from oh was it Uniqlo I can't remember anyway it's an orange like peachy blush I do want to play with that. This one again is from Can Make. It is PW38. I'm thinking this is going to be too dark for me, but usually their pigmentation is very low. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to hold on to it and try it um, because, you know, that's the whole purpose of doing that series is to actually try stuff out. This one here is, oh, it's a highlighter. It's my fault to France. Okay, you go down. You go down here in your home. We'll talk to you later. I'll see you soon. Back to the blushes. Um, this is Mood Light from Hourglass. If I'm going to try and pan a blush next year, I think it's going to be that one. So I'm taking it out because I've already played with it this year. I know it's great. I played with it in my, well... I know it's really nice as a blush, not great as a face powder, and I played with it in my face powder video. Um, this here is from Dear Dahlia. One thing I quite enjoy about like Korean 
um, blushes is that they're not overly pigmented and that's my vibe. Now I'm not sure that I'm really going to love this. Um, this sparkly side is very sparkly. So that will remain to be seen. I have California here, which is an absolutely sick orange color. I'll play with that more. Um, I have the Clinique uh, Smoldering Plum Blush. This is very old. It's got to go. Um, I did talk about this last year and people said that you can still get it. You can still get it. So I will get rid of that one because it's very old. But it's like a favorite, favorite color. It just works so... This is one of the most flattering blush colors I've ever found for myself. So, you know, there's that. Uh, but until this collection is a fuckload smaller, I'm not allowed to buy blush because it's a problem. Uh, this one here is from, oh, what was the brand? Is it Korea? Korea Beauty. I think it's Korea Beauty. Um, it's a cream red blush. I want to play with it, so I will. This one is from uh, M Cosmetics. It's Venetian Rose. I have not played with that. I think I've used it like once. So, you know, she needs to play with it some more. Um, the Nabla Skin Glazing Blushes or, like, you know, highlighter. What are they called? Glass Skin Finish Glow Powders. So, I mean, you use them for whatever the fuck you want. I am holding on to them as well. I want to play with them more. Also, even if I, uh, even if I wasn't wanting to keep particular colors of these, I would still hold on to them because uh, sometimes, well, to be fair, Nebula hasn't sent me PR in a long time, but they're beautiful. So I don't care. I'm keeping them and playing with them. Uh, Mac, I have the Beauty Powder in Pearl Sunshine. I will never, ever, ever get rid of this. It is divine and stunning and I need to play with it more. It's kind of like a glowy, very subtle, blush slash highlighter slash all over powder bathe in it it's stunning this one is also a beauty powder it's sunny surprise it's not quite as pretty as the last one it doesn't have as much radiance and glow but i am gonna hold on to that and play with it this one is faded clementine from m cosmetics again i've not used it much i need to play with it a little bit this is Take Me Home Powder Blush uh, from the MAC Patrick Star, one of those collections. Again, I, I want to play with it. I have so many blushes, like I don't even know what I think of all of my blushes. So that's why I'm doing a, a series where I'm testing them all out. This one is a Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. This is really pretty. I really, really like that one. Um, here I have Life's a Peach from L'Oreal. Oh, I remember really enjoying this one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this guy is from Wet n Wild. It is a hummingbird hype. Is it technically a highlighter? I mean, it looks technically like a highlighter, but it's in this drawer. I will assess that situation when I get around to using it. And then over here from MAC, I have That's Peachy Glow Play Blush. These are really nice as well. Um, it's like a bouncy sort of formula. Uh, these guys are the blush and highlight duos from Kaleidos, which I did talk about in that video where I tested everything out. Is that going to close? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So I think for now, this is okay. We will, we will keep this as it is. Um, I'll try and organize things a little bit. Yeah, let's do this. This looks it looks empty. It does very much look empty. Ultimately, one day I would like to have all of my bronzers, my blushes, and my highlights in one drawer, though. I think that's like a reasonable... Uh, it's not even reasonable. That is um, a large enough collection for me. 
let's do highlight all right here is the highlighter drawer that is i mean it looks pretty full am i right i i've got more i have more this drawer is a problem this is really like my big problem drawer it's going to take so long to try all of these highlights it's overwhelming so let's let's just start let's start i have some abh glow kits here i have moonchild and aurora um i think i have more i kind of want to look i feel like it probably is time to retire these but also i really really love them and i just want to i want to dip into them again and play with them I feel like my relationship with highlighter has changed a lot over the last like 12 plus months. This one's the Dream Glow Kit. I don't even think I've used this. I haven't. Oh my god, it's still got the plastic protective thing over it. I am going to keep these. I'm just not ready to get rid of them, to be honest. Um, I feel like I love highlighter so much more these days. Um, wow. Well, a lot of these this is a nicole guerrero one mine has been repressed because uh we destroyed it for an episode of the makeup breakup i don't know how that one's gonna go but i'd like to you know play with it some more this is a sun dipped one i think i got this out of a beautylish lucky bag um these these look divine these look too dark for me but you know what i am going to let myself try these out when it comes to highlight testing um and i'm just going to see how i feel then because i feel like if i get rid of them now it's going to be one of those products that like sits in my mind for a long time oh i wish i hadn't got rid of them i wish i still had them blah 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 um it's much better for me to get rid of stuff that I know I no longer want because then I don't even think about the product. I have no regrets and I just feel better for the situation. This is the Mac Patrick Star Baby It's Gold Outside. I think I've used this like once or twice. I do think it's like it's verging on a little bit, little tiny, tiny bit too dark. You guys can't even see it. Um... I mean, I'm going to play with it. I mean, look at the packaging, guys. This was a um, holiday collection. I just, I love it. I love it. Ofra. How are we feeling about Ofra? I feel like they never really made a, a comeback, did they? I bought this a couple of years ago, I think, from a glam. Oh, no. I saw it at a Glam Raider event and they had sold out so i think i purchased it online and to be honest i don't even think i've used it this is like the only i think it's the only offer highlighter that i own and i'm not gonna lie guys i know the brand like the owner of the brand is an absolute shithead um but i still do want to try these out so please don't be angry at me for wanting to try something that i spent money on a long time ago uh, <laughs> this one is from uh, Mark Jacobs. It's guilty. I am. I'm keeping that. <laughs> I'm so keeping it. I don't know why they fucking make them so big though. I'm just like, who needs ten grams of fucking highlighter? No one ever. Nabla. This is a Glimmer Lights palette. I do not think this works well for me as like a highlighting illuminating palette but this shade here is divine and i just need to oh my god it's so pretty i need to i need to just allow myself that time to play with it and explore it some more because i'm not ready to let it go hourglass this is a vanish stick i don't even think i've ever used it man like people say this is good though right that's why I've kept it for so long, but then never got around to using it. I mean, that day is coming, which is great, but I have too many highlighters, folks. Um, oh, okay, this is a Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I'm not getting rid of this because it was gifted to me and it was just very sweet. So 
I'm going to hold on to it for now. There we go. I'm not getting rid of any of these, am I? Fucking hell, man. Send help. Seriously. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. Why is this in here? Why? 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 Okay, I'm putting this back in the blush blush section. It was probably uh, probably in here because it wouldn't fit in there. Are we surprised? We're not. We're not surprised. Okay. Um, let's look at this guy. Oh, I haven't used this in ages, but this and this is stunning. This is a little bit too glittery for me, I think. But again, I it was gifted to me. Ugh, like I just I wanna I wanna play with it some more. These guys I purchased for myself. They are the Kevin Aquan uh, Neo highlighters. So I've got Neo Limelight, and I have what was this one called? I can't remember. Neo uh, Illuminate. Oh, okay, good. I got these wrong. This one's Sahara. And this one is Ibiza, uh, the purple one. I haven't used them in ages, uh, but I would like to. Man, highlight. This is this is what this is what happened if you went through the highlighter craze of like 2016, 2017, 2018. And I mean, all the way now up to fucking nearly 2022 where highlighters are still a goddamn thing um this is from nakia joy this is the illuminate luxury highlighting palette oh help i would put this on par with the um abh ones and again i i mean we're getting into territory of like this is enough highlight to last me two or three bloody years if i use it daily so we're getting into territory of like way 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 too much but I just don't feel I want to play with it a little bit more before I'm deciding that I'm going to keep one over another do you know what I'm saying because I can't even remember the last time I used this but that doesn't mean I don't want to use it, it just means I have too much to actually use so I want to use them and really like work out you know do I prefer this formula over this formula or like you know okay that's a bad example like you know what do I prefer this or this or you know, like you know what I'm saying am I making any sense or is it just ramblings of someone who's freaking out about getting rid of their makeup probably the latter um this one is from the s effect by Samira um again oh sorry camera this is a friend's brand these guys this one is actually really nice this is a little too light for me this one oh god am i gonna do this no 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 i'm gonna test them out first let me just do that because i'm freaking out <laughs> shouldn't be that hard um but it is this one is from laura mercier this is one of their little uh highlight palettes what were you called uh fall in love face illuminator collection gosh i really enjoyed this oh that nude shade is so pretty and gold are you guys able to even see this watches you know what i'm actually going to get rid of this yeah i'm going to get rid of that i i've used it a bit um probably more than other highlighters here I don't need to keep this one. I don't have that, like, urge to actually use it. Okay, the balm. This is the Maniza Sisters palette. Um, oh, man, this was, like, iconic back in the day. Shit, that's a beautiful colour. That's also a beautiful colour. This one's too dark for me. Um, I'm going to get rid of that, I think. I just don't really reach for it anymore and I feel like um, Mary Lou is the one that I'm going to use the most but I feel like I could dupe it a thousand times over. You guys can't see those swatches can you? I'm sorry it's quite an awkward angle 
for me. Maybe I should sit on the floor. This might be a little bit better. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, Jouet. What is this? Oh, my God. It's blush. It's a blush, Jouet. You need to go in your home. In your blushy blush home. Thank you. Um, okay. These ones are from Sharabella. All my friends released highlighters. Um, <laughs> so I have four here. Again, I think this one... Um, Charlie's Glow. I think that one was a fave. And what's this one? This one is Mia Bella. We have six. And this one is Lumiso. Is that right? Lumiso, yeah. Um, I feel like you have a gold there. This looks like a... Oh, that one's pretty. Okay. I'm going to hold on to Mia Bella because that is very pretty. Six is, oh. Six is really nice as well. Um, help. And that one actually might be a little dark for me, which is Charlie's Glow. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold on to... Covered in highlight. This is so bad. I'm going to hold on to these three. And I'm going to get rid of Lumiso. Because I think it's just going to be too dark for me. Um, Colourpop. Listen, I should not be keeping these. But I am. Fight me about it. These are some of the prettiest goddamn highlighters that I ever actually used. Um, I'm going to, I have whittled these down over time, um, but I'm going to have one last hurrah at them uh, in my highlighter testing thing and I'll assess from there. These here are from Kaleidos. They are their um, highlighters. I'm actually going to hold on to these because Kaleidos do send PR and if they release one then I want to be able to like compare it basically. So I'm going to hold on to them. That's it just is what it is. Um, I don't I don't mind doing that. If I consider it like you know it's a work thing. Um, okay this is this is Problem, all a bloody problem. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Um, ooh, Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This is in Spotlight. I love it. It stays. The Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Elevated Glow Highlighter. I got the shade Crystal Nebula. That is fairly new and it stays and I quite like it. The Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Wow, that was amazing and I'm keeping it. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. Um, I haven't really played with this all that much. So I think I would like to do that and then decide from there. This is a ColourPop uh, Light Sticks in, I don't know, a shade. It is Bullseye. Um, I mean, it's pretty, but I don't, I'm not really into sticks. I like liquids, but creams in sticks, not a huge fan. I don't know why. Like I like cream highlighters, but not creams in sticks. I'm just going to get rid of it. I know I'll never use it. Um, this one here is the... Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in Opal Flashes Jade. This is really, really beautiful, unique, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Don't know if you could see it, but I'm keeping it. Uh, I have two of the Smashbox Petal Metal Shimmer Drops. I have the one from uh, the Vladder Collection and the one from the Hood Witch Collection. I really like them. I'm keeping them. NARS Fort de France. This is the best fucking highlighter from NARS I've ever used and I'm keeping it. This is Kat Von D Thunderstruck. I feel like this is actually still fairly unique to my collection. It's like a 
sort of pale, it's got a pale base with um, almost an orangey glow. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping that one. Uh, this is the Mecca Enlightened Powder Mini. Hoi! Can I open it? There it is. Um, I don't think I've used it. I'm going to hold on to it. I want to I want to play with it. Uh, the Hourglass Iridescent Strobe Lights. I... That one... Wait. Ugh! Broken. Okay, no. They're not iridescent. They're, what are they called? Ambient Strobe Lighting Powders. I've got Iridescent Strobe Light and Euphoric Strobe Light. Thank you, brain. So... Uh, my feelings on these in the past were that they're a little bit too sparkly, but I'm going to have another go at them, see what I think. Um, if I don't like them, they can go. If I love them, then I'm in trouble because I'm already keeping too many highlighters. Yes, I am, but there's... Look, what can you do? What can you do? It's too hard. Pull all these out. Okay, more Nabla. So these are the skin glazing powders. Again, I have four of them. I am keeping them. Um, oh, this. Okay. I know. Don't tell me off. I know there's going to be people who want to yell at me. It's Jeffree Star hypothermia. Look, I bought it. It is what it is. It's done. I've already spent the money on it. The only thing that I'm doing by throwing it out is creating more landfill and missing out on being able to wear that. So for now it stays. This one's hot and heavy, again, from the Mac Patrick Star collection. This one is gorgeous. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I need another tissue. I'm covered in highlight. All of my highlights together make such a beautiful glow. <laughs> okay, um, Becca, this one is rose gold. There it is. Potentially too dark for me these days, but we'll find out when I test it out. Two more of the strobe lighting powders. I've got Brilliant Strobe and Incandescent Strobe. Let's have a look. Man, are these just like all the fucking same? I think yellow one's kind of cool. Oh yeah, so they released five pink ones. Okay, maybe not. Pink, yellow, pale pink, bronze. Look, whatever. I'll try them out. I won't keep them all. Definitely not. I'll just find like some shades that I really like. And if they're too sparkly, I'll get rid of them. Oh man, this was sad. Yeah, I know. This is the Amrazy highlighter powder. I was actually, I think I was panning this and it broke. And I was like, this is one of the prettiest highlighters I've ever used. And I am going to keep it to just use the stuff that's in the grid. I'm going to put that in my panning pile for next year. I will finish it up. Um, maybe not in the, I don't know. I, I'm going to finish it up next year. This one's from Wet n Wild. It's still sealed. Okay. This is the Purple Ashes Highlighting Powder from, I think it was their Halloween collection. It's got like a skull on it. It's super cute. Oh, I don't want to wear it, but I just want to keep it because that skull is absolutely fucking adorable. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Maybe I'll keep that in like my makeup history drawer. I love how Wet n Wild do these fun collections with like cool prints and I feel like they've just gotten better and better and better over the years. I'm gonna take it out of here. I'm gonna just keep it for like makeup history's sake. Um, I have, okay, MAC. I've got Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I have Soft Frost. And I also have a whole bunch, some inside that I'm currently testing out and some that I've already tested out. Um, I don't think I will keep them all, but I want to keep the right ones. These are interesting. Um, they are the Dazzle Highlighters from MAC. This one is Dazzle Red. Um, it's, I mean, that's not really a highlighter, but also fight me because I'm not getting rid of it. This one is Dazzle Pink. This one can be used as a highlighter. Um, it's similar-ish to Stylishly Merry, except I would say more sparkly. 
so I don't know what I'm going to do with them but I'm not getting rid of them right now. This is Gilded Lily from um, Lorac. I think I really enjoyed this. It stays for now. Ethereal Light from Hourglass. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm getting rid of this because this is a disaster and I've got rid of nothing. Um, and it's hard, but I know that I don't need to keep that. This one from Laura Mercier, I'll never ever get rid of it. It is Highlight 01. It's a matte radiance baked highlight. It's so pretty. Bobbi Brown. This is a shimmer brick. Wow, I haven't used this in a long time. What does this look like? Oh, stunning. Why are they so fucking pretty? Oh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of it because I, I never think about it. Funny thing about this drawer, you look at these products and there's so many and I sit here and I'm like, oh, I've got so many, I've got to get rid of some. The problem is a lot of these products, like I know I have them in my mind and I'm like, oh, I want to use that next time I do my makeup. Most of the time I forget. Sometimes I remember. This one, I don't think about it. So I'm not going to keep it. Um, this here from Smashbox, it is the Vlada uh, Petal Metal Highlighter. I am, of course, keeping this guy as well. Uh, what what else have we got? Oh, this is the last one, I believe. This is the Mac Robert Lee Morris Alien Egg thing. I will never, ever, ever, ever get rid of this. I will be buried with this. And if if I'm not buried with it, I'm gonna come back and haunt whoever was in charge of making sure I was buried with it because it's amazing I'll never get rid of it I'm not even joking ever okay that's that I need to tidy this shit up So here is how we're looking at the end of the video. I have eight items that I'm getting rid of over here. I have one item that I'm just going to stick in like, I don't know, my drawer of shame, my collection drawer, whatever. I'm not going to use it, but I also don't really want to get rid of it. Makeup history drawer. Um, and then I have three items here that I would like to focus on panning next year. Um, I've got, you know, the two hourglass powders and the Amrezy, um highlighter, which is sad but so beautiful and I am willing to like scrape the last little scarex out of uh the grid in the bottom of the pan so there's that uh, I definitely don't think that this has been as productive as past years but that's okay because um I know I'm like I'm also working on uh, some other videos with these products and there will most likely be decluttering happening there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye.